Hey, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys have had a great week. Um, if this is your first time stopping here, welcome. I am so glad you found me or you finally watched my video after like a million recommendations. Uh, my name is Dr. Anne Amuta. I am a tenured associate professor of public health in the southern part of the US in Texas. And um, I started this channel because I really, 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 really wanted to help students, uh, particularly immigrant students and graduate students. Um, and before we get further into this video, I want to say this video is sponsored by Great Learning Academy. So here is Great Learning. Here is their website right here. Um, Great Learning is India's leading professional learning company focused on upskilling working professionals and students. Great Learning provides number one ranked PG programs in analytics, AI, machine learning, and more um, in collaboration with universities like Stanford, Global, Global School of Business, uh, University of Texas, ETC. I mean, look at all the things you can learn. Um, this many of you probably need Excel for beginners, right? <laughs> um, so last year, Great Learning launched Great Learning Academy, a digital library offering over 1,000 hours of structured videos, projects, um, assignments across 200 plus courses focused on critical career skills, free of cost, free, all free. They offer free certificate courses, okay? Um, you also get a course completion certificate, so that's really good. Um, you can sign up here, um, and after you register for free, you don't just get access to high-quality courses, but also timely live interactive sessions. That's amazing, um, by industry experts from time to time. That's really good. Um, you don't need an official, any official college ID to enroll. Anyone who wants to learn can register. Um, the idea for this video came from just my experiences, some things that made me laugh, some things that made me... Um, feel sorry for myself and say to myself, I will never allow another person go through this again. And so we're talking about, <clears throat> if I look this way, I have my notes here. So today we're talking about skills you need to get a graduate assistantship and to sustain a graduate assistance, assistantship. And so a lot of people don't realize that you can get a graduate assistantship. It's not that difficult, but can you sustain it? I know several immigrant students that have lost their graduate assistantship because they just couldn't sustain it. And one of my close friends who I helped to come to America, to Texas, after the first semester, they fired her after her graduate, after the graduate assistantship um, position she held. And so to me, I feel like this is a very important video. Um, even if you're not, you haven't even started applying, but these are things to keep in the back of your head to get and sustain a graduate assistantship. Um, and if you do not know what a graduate assistantship is, it is some, it's a kind of scholarship slash funding uh, mechanism for students, for graduate students, where you either help a professor teach a class. Um, if there's noise, I'm outside. Sorry, guys. <laughs> um, you help a professor teach a class you help a professor with their research, and in return, they pay you and they waive your tuition and fees. So that, getting a graduate assistantship is really the gold standard um, for, grad, for getting funded for graduate school. All right, the first thing is apply, apply, apply. Make sure your application is solid. So first apply, because a lot of people say, oh man, a lot of people are timid. I don't know why to apply. I don't know why. And like, why? What is the harm? In applying, apply. Uh, a part of the application is also emailing professors who you have found, who you found online, who have funding. Um, and that's another video coming up. How to? I want to show you guys. I'll I'll show go on my computer and show you guys how to identify professors with research funding and how they and how to email them. Um, so we're gonna get into that video. So watch out. One of the next um, one of the next few weeks, we're gonna touch on that. Okay. <clears throat> So apply, number one. Uh, make sure your application is a good one. No errors, obviously. We've talked about that um, in previous videos. Um, number two is be confident during your interview. And so when I was uh, my first graduate assistantship interview during my master's program, I was shaking. <laughs> like the guy, oh my goodness. The guy was asking me questions and I was literally shaking on, in front of him. Cause I was so nervous. This was the week after I moved from Nigeria. And 
they were like, oh, there's a, there's a graduate assistantship position opening. And so me and my classmate, Chidi, hey, Chidi, what's up? So Chidi, Chidi was a guy oh, much older than I am. And so we were both up for the, um, for the position and he wanted to interview both of us. Guess who got the job? Guess who got the job? Chidi got the job because I was a mess. I was not confident. I was shaking. I was trying to change my accent. I started sounding, I don't even know, I was sounding ebotic and like Nigerian. I even think I spoke PG that's important. Like I was so nervous. I started ranting. So my advice to you is calm down. You're amazing. You're amazing. Calm down. Calm down, okay? And be confident. I'm telling you, confident goes a long way. If you're confident, you, you're more relaxed, right? And you're able to think of proper answers. <laughs> Oh, like me. I was just a mess. I'm sure the guy was like, uh, ew, I don't want to ever work with this girl. So Chidi got the job. So confidence, 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 confidence is important because most graduate assistantship positions, you're likely to be interviewed by the professor um, because they want to get to know you. If they're going to spend money on you, they want to make sure that you're not a mess like I was. So learn how to use Microsoft Excel and learn how to, or I guess Google tables or Google, whatever the Google equivalent is. Just learn how to use that um great learning academy is your plug go on there and check it out guys this is how you improve your life these are the skills you need to help yourself okay keep your graduate assistantship get a graduate assistantship because a lot of assistantships they ask you do you know how to use excel and never say you don't say yes <laughs> and then get on to great learning academy <laughs> get on there and learn how to use it never say you cannot use excel even whether it's for your graduate assistantship, whether it's for your job, whether whatever it is, never say you can't do something like Excel, okay? That's why you have Great Learning Academy. All right, and also you need to learn data visualization. A lot of times you you do something for your boss or for, your, um, for the professor, and they're like, oh, can I see this in a bar chart or in a this or in a that? Or can you do a presentation for the department? What are you going to do? So those are things, those are vital skills you need to learn. Data visualization. Great Learning Academy has all sorts of things for you to learn how to present data in a beautiful way, okay? So get in there and check it out. All right, um, number, are we, <laughs> number four now. So show up early to every function. Show up early to every function. If, you're, if your advisor, your boss says, hey, we're doing something Let's be there too. Be there at 1.45. Early, not on time. Early, okay? Be the first person there. Don't bring your African lateness, Nigerian time. No, 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 according to my son. <laughs> my son is like, no, 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 no. Yes, don't do that, okay? I'm telling you, guys, my friend, I told you, got fired. Why do you think she got fired? She was always late. And she would miss meetings. Like, she treated this job like it was just like she was in Nigeria, like she was like, mm, whatever, you know, or, or she treated it like she didn't really care. And this was a job that was paying her very well, paying her tuition, paying fee. Like you don't want to lose that kind of job. So you have to show up, put your back into it. That's what Americans say. It just means put your whole heart into it. Um, put your energy because you know your back is like a strong part of your body, right? So put your back, put all your energy into your job guys no, don't have us anything please this is how you keep your funding too many people have lost funding even in my department right now these are not immigrant students though but they've lost funding because they just won't put their back into it they're just lazy right they're just they show up late to stuff they don't they're, they're just not the kind of graduate assistant you want around you right so and this is me talking from a professor standpoint and from a former student standpoint, okay? So I have two vantage points. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you. Okay, um, stay cordial. This is probably the most important tip. Stay cordial. Never let your name be in any drama in the department. Please, if there's anything you take away from this video, don't let drama and go follow your name, okay? And it's very easy to see. In every department, there's drama, even in my department. Oh, let me not even tell you. Let me tell you, the first day on my job, well, as a, as an, when I was an assistant professor, there was the two professors fought, like, ugh, ugh. <laughs> I was just like, 
and I was this was my first day. This was our first faculty meeting. And I was just sitting there like, what have I gotten myself into? And even during my doctoral program, my master's program, oh my master's program, the fighting was crazy. Like professors hated each other. During my doctoral program, professors they talk about each other. And then the problem with this is that they drag their graduate students into this drama. Okay? Don't get caught up in this drama. Please don't get caught up. You know why? Because you get caught up supporting one professor, whatever. Then the professor tells you, Oh, I got a job in another university. I'm leaving. I'm so sorry. <laughs> bye bye. What are you going to do now? You're stuck with no canopy covering, meaning your professor that you were supporting, getting yourself into drama for, has left. This is very common. This is not, I'm telling you guys, this is very common. <laughs> has left you high and dry. And now nobody wants to deal with you in the department because they feel like, oh, you're dramatic or you're this. Just keep your head down, right? Keep your head down. Don't get involved in drama. Be kind to people. Be nice to people. Work with professors. Be Put yourself in a position where you can work with every professor without worrying that, oh my gosh, I said this about the professor. I said that. Oh, um, like don't be in that position. And I want to thank God so much because this was this is my story. I never got into drama. I, like there was a little tiny bit of drama in my first year, but this was with another PhD student. And we resolved that real quick. But I'm, I don't like drama because if you're at peace with everyone, then I mean, then your life is so much easier. And I know drama is sweet, drama is gossip. Just avoid that. This point is getting too long now, but don't let your name be in drama. Don't let drama follow your name. Instead, let favor and excellence. If, you, if there are two words you should think about, favor and excellence. Let that follow your name all the time. And that's it for me. That's it for me, guys. These are some skills you need to get and sustain your graduate assistantship, your funding. Um, all right. I will see you next week in my next video. Please, if you love this video, if, even if you this is not for you, but if there are other contents on my channel that you have enjoyed and you keep coming back, why don't you subscribe? Join the family. I don't know why I'm singing or doing this. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Love you. I will talk to you later. Bye.